John Hadley, born 27 September 1966, is an Australian philosopher whose research concerns moral and political philosophy, including animal ethics, environmental ethics and metaethics. He is currently a senior lecturer in philosophy in the School of Humanities and Communication Arts at Western Sydney University. He has previously taught at Charles Sturt University and the University of Sydney, where he studied as an undergraduate and doctoral candidate. In addition to a variety of articles in peer-reviewed journals and edited collections, he is the author of the 2015 monograph Animal Property Rights Lexington Books and the co-editor, with Elisa Altola, of the 2015 collection Animal Ethics and Philosophy, Roman and Littlefield International. Hadley is known for his account of animal property rights theory. He proposes that wild animals be offered property rights over their territories, and that guardians be appointed to represent their interests in decision-making procedures. He suggests that this account could be justified directly, on the basis of the interests of the animals concerned, or indirectly, so that natural environments are protected. The theory has received discussion in popular and academic contexts, with critical responses from farming groups and mixed responses from moral and political theorists. Hadley has also conducted research on normative issues related to animal rights extremism, the aiding of others and utilitarianism. Career Hadley read for a Bachelor of Arts and Doctorate in Philosophy at the University of Sydney, USYD. His doctoral thesis was supervised by Caroline West, in USYD's Department of Philosophy, and was submitted in 2006 under the title of Animal Property, Reconciling Ecological Communitarianism and Species Egalitarian Liberalism. During his doctoral research, the basic elements of his animal property rights theory were first assembled, leading to the publication of Non-Human Animal Property, Reconciling Environmentalism and Animal Rights, in the Journal of Social Philosophy. During this time, he also published in the Journal of Value Inquiry, Philosophy in the Contemporary World, and the Journal of Applied Philosophy, as well as working as a lecturer in the USYD Philosophy Department and a guest lecturer for the USYD Laboratory Animal Services. After his PhD, Hadley worked as a lecturer in communication ethics in the Charles Sturt University CSU School of Communication and a lecturer in philosophy at the CSU School of Humanities and Social Sciences. He then joined the University of Western Sydney School of Humanities and Communication Arts, first as a lecturer in philosophy, and then as a senior lecturer in philosophy. Animal Ethics and Philosophy, Questioning the Orthodoxy, a collection edited by Hadley with the Finnish philosopher Elisa Altola, was published in 2015 by Roman and Littlefield International. The book aimed to move debate in animal ethics beyond developing extensionist accounts and to examine the metaphilosophical and metaethical problems with extensionist accounts. Hadley's own contribution drew attention to a perceived inconsistent triad in animal rights philosophy, the idea that moral status is determined by psychological factors like sentience, and not species, that human and non-human animals are of the same kind, and that genomic plasticity offers the best explanation for change in natural selection. In the same year, Hadley published a monograph with Lexington Books entitled Animal Property Rights, a Theory of Territory Rights for Wild Animals. The book, partially building upon his doctoral research, presents a large amount of new material on Hadley's animal property rights theory. Research Animal Property Rights Hadley is known for his theory of animal property rights, according to which animals should be afforded property rights over their territory. Hadley has developed his theory of animal property rights through his doctoral research, his 2015 monograph, and other academic works. In addition, he has authored popular articles on the subject for The Guardian, The Conversation and The Ethics Center. He also discussed the topic on Knowing Animals, a podcast series produced by Siobhan O. Sullivan. His proposal has received attention in the popular press, with strong criticism from farmers, groups and journalists writing on rural affairs. The practical side of Hadley's proposal rests on two key principles, a guardianship system, according to which knowledgeable guardians would be appointed to represent animal property holders in land management decision-making, and the use of animals territory marking behavior to determine the limits of their property. Hadley rejects first occupancy and labor mixing accounts of appropriation, and instead suggests that there are two ways that his account might fruitfully be justified. 
First, it might be justified directly, with reference to the interests of animals. This relies upon the fact that wild animals require their territory in order to satisfy their basic needs and the claim that this results in an interest in territory strong enough to ground a right. If animals have a right to use their territory, Hatley claims, then they necessarily have a property right in that territory. Second, it might be justified indirectly, as animals, of some species, at least, might be given property rights as a means of protecting natural environments. Hadley presents his proposal against the backdrop of an explicit pragmatism, and holds that animal property rights theory has the potential to reconcile animal and environmental ethics. Hadley's proposal has been placed in the context of the political turn in animal ethics, the emergence of animal ethics literature focused on justice. Another academic who has proposed that wild animals be afforded property rights over their habitats is the British philosopher Steve Cook. Like Hadley, he utilizes an interest-based account of animal rights, but, unlike Hadley, he suggests that sovereignty would be an appropriate tool to protect animals' interest in their habitat if property fails. Other theorists exploring the normative aspects of human relationships with wild animals explicitly deny that they are extending property rights to animals. The U.S.-based ethicist Claire Palmer, for instance, argues for a duty to respect wild animals space, but claims that arguing for a property right for these animals would be difficult, and instead bases her account on the fact that human actions can make animals painful, miserable and vulnerable. The Canadian theorists Sue Donaldson and Will Kimlicka are critical of Hadley's proposal to extend property rights to animals, claiming that property rights are insufficient to protect animals' interests. Instead, they argue that animals should be considered sovereign over their territories. They write that it is one thing to say that a bird has a property right in its nest, or that a wolf has a property right in its den, specific bits of territory used exclusively by one animal family. But the habitat that animals need to survive extends far beyond such specific and exclusive bits of territory. Animals often need to fly or roam over vast territories shared by many other animals. Protecting a bird's nest is of little help if the nearby watering holes are polluted, or if tall buildings block its flight path. It's not clear how ideas of property rights can help here. They also compare the possibility of extending property rights to animals to the approach of European colonists, who were prepared to extend property, but not sovereignty, rights to native peoples, resulting in oppression. Hadley, however, is himself critical of Donaldson and Kimlicka's sovereignty proposal, though the British philosopher Josh Milburn suggests that the proposals may not be as far apart as the authors indicate. The British political theorist Alastair Cochrane also questions the extension of property rights to animals. Though describing Hadley's proposal as ingenious, he criticizes it on two grounds. First, he questions Hadley's claim of a relationship between property and basic needs, and, second, denies that animal property rights would appease environmentalists, given that they would allow the destruction of environments which do not contain sentient animals. In a book review, Milburn stresses the significance of Hadley's theory, but questions the extent to which the implementation of animal property rights would be desirable without the achievement of other animal rights and the extent to which Hadley's account is genuinely about property rights. Other research Hadley has considered the ethics of humans' relationships with wild animals and environments beyond his property rights theory. He argues that there is a duty to aid wild animals in need, and that these duties are essentially no different to humans' duties to aid distant strangers who are severely cognitively impaired. He argues that libertarian property rights, consistent with Robert Nozick's interpretation of the Lockean proviso, should limit the right to destroy human-owned natural environments, and has elsewhere explored libertarian theories' denial of moral powers, including the power to acquire property, to animals. Hadley has conducted research on animal rights extremism, concluding that the phenomenon is a complex one, and that a full understanding of individual extremists' intentions and targets are necessary to understand the ethical acceptability of extremist acts and whether such acts are appropriately classified as terrorism. He holds that while direct action should be tolerated in liberal democracies, this toleration should not extend to certain campaigning tactics used by extremists, such as threat-making. With O'Sullivan, Hadley has conducted research on utilitarianism and the relationship between obligations to animals and obligations to needy humans. 
The scholars argue that there is a conflict in Singer's philosophy between the obligation to aid needy humans and to protect animals, and that Westerners who own pets should, rather than spending large amounts of money extending the lives of their companions, euthanize severely ill animals and instead donate money to aiding those in the developing world. Hadley has been critical of the metaethical and metaphilosophical stances of mainstream animal ethicists, as well as the views of Tiber Mackin and J. Baird Calicott. He has also written on J. M. Kutsi, the ethics of disenhancing animals, the ethics of animal testing, and the relationship of self-defense theory to abortion and animal ethics. Publications Books Hadley, John, 2015. Animal Property Rights. London, United Kingdom, Lexington Books. Altola, Elisa, and John Hadley, eds. 2015. Animal Ethics and Philosophy. London, United Kingdom, Roman and Littlefield International, CS1 maint, Uses Authors Parameter, Link, Selected Articles Hadley, John, 2017. Non-Autonomous Sentient Beings and Original Acquisition. Analysis. 77-2, 293-99. doi, 10.1093, Annalise, ANX 074. Hadley, John, 2017. Animal Property Rights, Justice or Conservation? In Anna Lukasevich, Stephen Dovers, Livy Robin, Jennifer McKay, Stephen Shilitsi, and Sonia Graham. Natural Resources and Environmental Justice, Australian Perspectives. Clayton, Victoria, CSIRO Publishing. pp. 133-42. ISBN 9781486306381, CS1 maint, Uses Editors Parameter, Link, Hatley, John, 2017. Religiosity and Public Reason, The Case of Direct Action Animal Rights Advocacy. Race Publica, 23, 299-312. DOI 10.1007 per seconds 11158-017-9359-0. Hadley, John, 2015. A Meta-Level Problem for Animal Rights Theory. In Elisa Altola and John Hadley. Animal Ethics and Philosophy. London, United Kingdom, Roman and Littlefield International. pp. 15-30, CS1 maint, uses editor's parameter, link, Hadley, John, 2015. Animal Rights Advocacy and Legitimate Public Deliberation. Political Studies. 63, 696-712. doi, 10.1111-1467-9248.1205. Hadley, John, 2013. Liberty and Valuing Sentient Life. Ethics and the Environment. 18, 1, 87-103. DOI 10.2979, Ethics Enviro, 18.1.87. Hadley, John, 2012. Telling It Like It Is, A Proposal to Improve Transparency in Biomedical Research. Between the Species, 15, 1, 103-26. DOI 10.15368, BTS.2012 v 15 n 1.3. Hadley, John, 2012. Confining, Disenhanced, Animals. Nanoethics. 61-41-46. doi 10.1007 per seconds 11569-012-0142-6. Hadley, John, 2010. Paying Their Way, Dissident Opinion, Advertising and Access to the Public Sphere. Australian Journal of Professional and Applied Ethics, 10, 1-2, 54-61. O'Sullivan, Siobhan, John Hadley, 2009. Conflict in Peter Singer's Philosophy, Animal Protection versus an Obligation to Give. In Raymond Aaron Eunice. On the Ethical Life, The Philosophy of Peter Singer, Newcastle upon Tyne, Cambridge Scholars Publishing. pp. 43-56. Hadley, John, 2009. Animal Rights and Self-Defense Theory. Journal of Value Inquiry. 43 165-77. DOI 10.1007 per seconds 10790-009-9149-9. Hatley, John, Siobhan O'Sullivan, 2009. World Poverty, Animal Minds and the Ethics of Veterinary Expenditure. Environmental Values, 183, 361-78. DOI 10.3197-0963271-09 extension 12474739376578. Hadley, John, 2009. We Cannot Experience Abstractions, Moral Responsibility for Eternal Treblinka. 
Sutherley, 69, 1, 213 to 22. Hadley, John, 2009. Animal Rights Extremism and the Terrorism Question. Journal of Social Philosophy, 43, 363-78. Doi 10.1111 J.1467 to 9833.2009.01457 X. O'Sullivan, Siobhan, John Hadley, 2008. Utilitarianism for the Dog That Has Everything. In Stephen D. Hales. What philosophy can tell you about your dog? Chicago, Illinois: Open Court Publishing. pp. 285 to 94. Hadley, John, 2007. Critique of Calicott's Biosocial Moral Theory. Ethics and the Environment. 12 1, 67-78. JSTOR 40339132. Hadley, John, 2006. The Duty to Aid Non-Human Animals in Dire Need. Journal of Applied Philosophy. 23, 445-51. Doi 10.1111 J.1468 to 5930.2006.00358 X. Hadley, John, 2005. Excluding destruction towards an environmentally sustainable libertarian property rights regime. Philosophy in the Contemporary World. 12:2, 22-9. DOI 10.5840, PCW 200,512,217. Hadley, John. 2005. Non-Human Animal Property, Reconciling Environmentalism and Animal Rights. Journal of Social Philosophy. 36.3, 305 305-15. DOI 10.1111, J.1467-9833.2005.00277, X. Hadley, John. 2004. Using and Abusing Others, A Reply to Mackin. Journal of Value Inquiry. 38.3, 411-4. DOI 10.1007 per seconds 10790-005-5319-6. References Cited texts Cochran, Alice Dare, 2012. Animal Rights Without Liberation. New York, Columbia University Press. Donaldson, Sue, Will Kimlicka, 2013. Zupolis, Oxford, Oxford University Press. Hadley, John, 2015. Animal Property Rights. London, United Kingdom, Lexington Books. Further reading. Dean, Christian, 2016. Animal Property Rights, A Theory of Habitat Rights for Wild Animals, John Hadley. Biological Conservation, 202-139. doi, 10.1016, j.biocon.2016.08.015. McEwen, Katie, 9 February 2017. Animal Property Rights. Podcast. New Books Network. Retrieved 10 February 2017. Milburn, Josh, 2017. Non-human animals as property holders, an exploration of the Lockean labor mixing account. Environmental Values, 265, 629-48. DOI, 10.3197, 0963271117 extension 15002190708155. External links. John Hadley at the University of Western Sydney John Hadley at Academia. Adieu John Hadley at Google Scholar John Hadley on the Conversation